you see, you'll see a glistening going on right here. And then what I did is I took just regular paper towel. If it's a, a really sturdy leather like cowhide, um, you can use just the cheapest paper towel you can find. The best mink oil that I know of, especially for the price, is soft soil. Um, I think it's soft oil, soft soil, something like that. Well, it's there. Mink oil, you can get this. It waterproofs, preserves, and conditions leather. You can get it off of Amazon. So what I did is I took a paper towel and I did a really good smudging in of the mink oil. And it has a good fragrance. It's not too strong or anything. There's a slight fragrance because mink oil's you know, animal fat. Um, but it's the most natural thing to cow that would be underneath a cow or even uh, any other mammal. Um, and um, minks are known to um, never have any skin problems, skin cancer, stuff like that. So it's it's really good stuff. But um, you can see a sheen on here. That's because I'm still letting it dry. But I figured I'd go ahead and show you what it was and how I did it. Um, after I have rubbed it in with the paper towel, you can even use your fingers if you have to, but after I've rubbed it in with the paper towel, I'll flip it onto another side, and then, of course, I'll do the spine, and you definitely want to do the, these edges here, because uh, that's, that's a lot of tension when you open that Bible, so I made sure I put real thick coats of that mink oil on there. Then I'm going to let it set for about 45 minutes, um... Because I notice it's soaking up the mink oil, you'll notice it'll, you'll start seeing dry spots um, where it's soaking up that mink oil. In fact, you might be able to see it. These little spots, that's where it's soaked up again. So I'm going to take my finger, take it where it's a little bit thicker, and kind of go back over that. Okay, so uh, ideally, maybe leave it overnight, um, but 45 minutes to an hour should do it. And after that, I'll wipe off any excess. Uh, it's starting to dry up here, too. So put some more there. So it needs it. You'll know where it needs it. I'll let it, um, somebody called it tempering. I don't know. <laughs> I just called it absorbing the oil. But I'll let that do its job for 45 minutes to an hour, check up on it, and then wipe off the excess. And it should be good to go. And here's, a, see, now you can see a dry spot. Boy, that thing, this thing was barely used. It does have a couple markings in it, but that's okay. I'm going to mark this one up because it's another black letter text. It's not like the large print one I showed you. Um, but this would be my third 64th. Uh, 1964 edition of the Thompson chain and I also have another one I'll probably do a review on that was very inexpensive and so was this one this guy thought it was bonded leather the seller um, said bonded leather and when I opened up it was cowhide bonded leather line which that was a blessing so I got it for just a oh I don't even remember I have to look it up maybe I'll do a review on it and but it, it's amazing what you can find on eBay and I never was a big eBay guy. My dad has always been a big eBay guy, but my son let me use his account. I'm just like, wow, you can get some really good Bibles and good old books and stuff for really cheap. But anyways, guys, that's how you do it. Just um, after this has set for either 45 minutes to an hour or maybe even overnight, I think it might be best uh, overnight. Um, wipe off any excess that's on there with the paper towel. And use your Bible. Make sure you, your hands will be greasy. You want to wash your hands. But your Bible will be treated. Uh, you've already did an edge coat around any of the places that were brown where the leather, uh, the top coat of the leather had been exposed where it was dyed. Then you re-dyed it with edge coat. Now you can use leather dye, but I just, I've noticed edge coat works better. It seems a little bit better. But anyways, guys, yeah, there's no, you don't see no brown anywhere around here you do see kind of some white film that's the mink oil but yeah as far as like all the troubled places it's all gone i hope that helps somebody uh and you see where it's starting to dry right there so rub it up i like using my fingers sometimes to get it into, into that grain and then smooth it out anyways this will turn out really nice and uh, it will just help strengthen the leather condition the leather and uh, it'll actually help the leather to last a lot longer um, I noticed in the fly leaf of this, it was printed in 64 and it was given to somebody in 1980. So, or 82, two years after I was born. I'll be 40 this year. That's crazy. But uh, yeah, so this is a, a really old Bible and it's doing pretty well on just fixing it up, make it look a little bit better, make it last longer. So, till next time, guys. Good day. God bless.